Welcome back to our channel. Emily Sissy Houston, iconic soul singer and the mother of late music icon Whitney Houston, has passed away aged 91. Houston died Monday at her home in New Jersey while receiving hospice care for Alzheimer's disease, her family said. A Grammy award-winning singer known for collaborations with megastars including Elvis Presley, her death comes 12 years after Whitney drowned in a Beverly Hills hotel bathtub aged just 48. Sissy's daughter-in-law, Pat Houston, told the Associated Press that the songstress died surrounded by her family. Our hearts are filled with pain and sadness. We lost the matriarch of our family, she said in a statement announcing the 91-year-old's death. Mother Sissy has been a strong and towering figure in our lives, a woman of deep faith and conviction who cared greatly about family, ministry, and community. Her more than seven-decade career in music and entertainment will remain at the forefront of our hearts. Seen as the matriarch of the Houston singing dynasty, Sissy struggled to come to terms with her daughter Whitney's death, which was followed three years later by her granddaughter Bobby Christina in an eerily similar passing when she was also found dead in her bathtub. Following Sissy's passing, her family said in their statement that she may now rest in peace alongside her daughter, Whitney, and granddaughter, Bobby Christina, and other cherished family members. Before her daughter shot to stardom, Sissy was best known for her work with the backup group Sweet Inspirations, and her powerful vocals can be heard supporting soul legends including Otis Redding and Lou Rawls. After going solo, she won her first Grammy in 1997 for her album, Face to Face before winning her second for Best Traditional Soul Gospel Album the following year with He Leadeth Me. Houston's last performance with Sweet Inspirations came in 1969, when her vocal band collaborated with Elvis Presley in Las Vegas. Following further success as a group, including performing with Aretha Franklin, Houston left the band to go solo after a total of four albums together. Springboarding off the back of her group's success, Houston became an in-demand session singer and went on to record more than 600 songs across multiple genres. Across the next decades of her career, Houston's worked with some of the biggest names in the music industry, including Jimi Hendrix, Beyonce, Luther Vandross, and later, her own daughter. Speaking in 1998 of finding her most lucrative success in her twilight years, she told Jet Magazine, A lot of the things I've done have come late in life and it's like a whole new career starting up. I don't have regrets about the way I planned and lived my life, and I am very proud of what I've become. Houston also authored three books, He Leadeth Me, How Sweet the Sound, My Life with God and Gospel, and Remembering Whitney, A Mother's Story of Life, Lost and the Night the Music Stopped. Sissy's start in music came at a young age when she joined a church choir as a child in New Jersey. She continued to be involved in her local church, the New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, for more than half a century as her stock in the music world grew. With her vocals now immortalized in hits, including Van Morrison's Brown Eyed Girl and Aretha Franklin's You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, experts quickly paid tribute to Houston as news of her death was announced Monday. She was a significant figure not because she sold a lot of records, but because of the people she influenced who did sell a lot and because of her work as a sustainer and nurturer of the gospel music tradition, said Robert Darden, a professor of journalism at Baylor University and the author of several books on gospel music, to the New York Times. Whitney Houston was trained by the best, he continued, and though she had a once-in-a-lifetime voice, without the training and influence and experience of someone like Sissy, who knew everybody and who could sing in any style, she would not have achieved what she did. Whitney Houston's mother Sissy Houston died at age 91 on Monday, 12 years after she wrote an open letter to her daughter when she drowned at age 48. The heart-wrenching tribute was published in the program of Whitney's funeral service and shared by TMs at the time. The two-time Grammy winner, who was an acclaimed gospel singer, passed away on Monday at her home in New Jersey. The mother of three, who also shared sons Gary and Michael with ex-husbands Freddie Garland, John Houston respectively, wrote, Dearest Whitney, the presence of God blessed our home with life, love, joy, and peace. You and your brothers were the center of divine love attracting God's richest blessings. 
You are a child of God. We had so much love in our home that was truly from on high. You always gave without expecting anything in return, and our love was the force that multiplied these blessings higher and higher. The grieving parent continued, I never told you that when you were born the Holy Spirit told me that you would not be with me long, and I thank God for the beautiful flower he allowed me to raise and cherish for 48 years. Using the I Wanna Dance with Somebody Hitmaker's nickname, she added, God said it's time nippy, your work is done. The other day, on February 11th, he came for you. But not without warning. For two months now I have been depressed, crying, lonesome and sad not knowing why. She shared the haunting recollection. On Saturday, before I found out about your transition, my doorbell rang. I went to answer it, but there was no one there. It rang again and again. No one was there so I called the concierge to tell him someone was ringing my doorbell. He checked the cameras and told me that no one was there. The letter went on to say, You promised me you were coming to spend time with me after the Grammys. I believe the spirits allowed you to come after all. How I love you, Nippy, and how I miss you, your beautiful smile, your special little things you used to say to me and sometimes you call just to say, Hi, Mommy, I love you so much. Mourning her only daughter, Sissy concluded the message. I love you so much more. I love you. I'll miss you. Thank you for being such a wonderful daughter. Rest my baby girl in peace, you're now in the arms of Jesus. Love, Mommy. Sissy was surrounded by family in her final moments and had been under hospice care as she battled Alzheimer's, according to the Associated Press. Our hearts are filled with pain and sadness. We lost the matriarch of our family, said her daughter-in-law, Pat Houston. Mother Sissy has been a strong and towering figure in our lives a woman of deep faith and conviction, who cared greatly about family, ministry, and community. Her more than seven-decade career in music and entertainment will remain at the forefront of our hearts, the statement from Pat continued. The Houston family was doubly hit by tragedy with the 2015 passing of Whitney and ex-husband Bobby Brown's daughter Bobby Christina at age 22. Following Sissy's passing, her family said in their statement that she may now rest in peace alongside her daughter, Whitney, and granddaughter, Bobby Christina, and other cherished family members. Sissy Houston, the mother of legendary singer Whitney Houston, opened up about the heartbreak of outliving her daughter after Whitney's tragic death in 2012. Sissy Houston, the gospel singer and mother of the late Whitney Houston, died on October 7, 2024, at age 91. She was receiving hospice care after battling Alzheimer's disease. Sissy's death signals the conclusion of a life closely entwined with music, faith, and family. She spent decades as a matriarch, mentoring, and supporting her children, but one of the most significant losses she faced was outliving her daughter Whitney, who died unexpectedly in 2012. She spoke candidly about Whitney's death with P.O.P.L. in 2013, sharing her heartbreak and regrets for not being able to save her daughter. Sissy Houston was devastated by Whitney Houston's tragic death. Whitney was found drowned in a hotel bathtub in 2012, with signs of cocaine in her system. Sissy shared her thoughts in her 2013 memoir, Remembering Whitney. She told P.O.P.L. at the time, I think I was a great mother and I still do wonder if I could have saved her somehow. I think, why not? Why wouldn't I wonder that? I still want her to be here. Her honest emotions were on display as she expressed how severely Whitney's death hurt her. She said she wished she had saved her. She said she was sad her daughter had to die alone in that kind of circumstance or situation. It saddened and pained her deeply. Sissy's feelings echoed the emotions of many parents who had lost a child particularly in such awful circumstances. She expressed the confusion and helplessness that can accompany such loss, concluding that life is both weird and amusing. She said that you take one road, which can be beneficial sometimes, and another issue is that this is not always good. You don't realize until it's too late. Sissy's story provided a unique and personal glimpse into the struggles she endured while Whitney battled addiction. Whitney's struggles with substance abuse were generally reported, but Sissy's grief was personal and intense. In her memoir, she described how terrible it was to see her daughter slip downwards. In addition to Whitney, Sissy outlived her granddaughter, Bobby Christina Brown, who died in 2015 under eerily similar circumstances to her mother. 
Bobby Christina was found unresponsive in a bathtub and died after months in a coma. Sissy's later years were made much more heartbreaking by the deaths of Whitney and Bobby Christina. Sissy Houston was a highly successful singer who has performed with iconic artists. She was also the mother of Whitney Houston and had a huge influence on Whitney's early life and interest in music. Here's everything you need to know about Whitney Houston's mother, Sissy Houston. Sissy Houston was an award-winning gospel and soul singer who performed with some of the world's greatest performers. She is best known for performing as a backup singer for artists such as Dionne Warwick, Elvis Presley, and Aretha Franklin. After Sissy and Aretha's initial meeting, the pair went on to maintain a friendship that lasted for the rest of Aretha's lifetime. Sissy's success as a background singer led her to eventually start performing as a solo artist. Throughout her solo endeavors, Sissy has released several albums and won two Grammy Awards. Sissy won her first Grammy in 1996 in the category Best Traditional Soul Gospel Album for her record Face to Face. Sissy won her second Grammy in the same category in 1998 for her album He Leadeth Me. Speaking about her early life in a rare interview, Sissy explained how she got into music from a young age. My sisters and brother, there was four of us, we sang a quartet. We sang a cappella first, which was all they were doing at that time. And it's wonderful, wonderful music, Sissy explained. The Grammy Award-winning singer explained that in her early childhood, she didn't enjoy singing and didn't want to pursue it. Sissy explained further and said that she learned to love it. Sissy Houston had three children. Her first child, a son named Gary Garland, was from her first marriage. She then had two more children during her second marriage, her only daughter and singing icon Whitney Houston and her second son Michael Houston. Sissy Houston was married and divorced twice. Her first marriage was to Freddie Garland, and they were married for around two years from 1954 to 1956 when they got divorced. Sissy's second marriage lasted for over three decades. She married Whitney Houston's father John Russell Houston in 1959. The couple had two children together and had a family including Gary from Sissy's first marriage. Sissy and John were married for around 31 years and divorced in 1990.